everyone! This is our second Friday here in Malta. We arrived last Friday. Let me get some Play-Doh. So last Friday, I told you that we were about to go visit a different city called Indina. <laughs> now I know how to pronounce it. So, 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 so beautiful. Also, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, it was King's Landing in the first season. I am a Game of Thrones fan. We went to Indina by bus, it was pretty easy and we took a walking guided tour of Indina. Indina was also King's Landing in the first season. Indina is also called the Silent City and it's very old. It was the ancient capital of Malta. It was founded in the 8th century before Christ by the Phoenicians. Interesting, I don't know if you're interested though. After our guided tour, we had lunch at a very beautiful place with a very beautiful view and I had this typical Maltese dish. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it had tuna, tomatoes, olives, capers, very Mediterranean and fresh. Sonia started feeding the birds. Now we have an army of birds <laughs> staring at her. They're staring at me like this. And sometimes they even say something like, like food. It reminds me of the monkeys in Kyoto. <laughs> Flashback. Oh, what do you think about it now? I was like, I saw the cakes. They're huge. I'm like, it's a piece of cake. Then this week, Sunday to Thursday, so yesterday, we worked. We, yeah, of course, this is a vacation, but it's not a real vacation, so we worked. And we couldn't really go explore, visit Malta too much. But when we had a little break, we still went around here. We got a coffee somewhere. It's huge. It's a bowl. I've never seen a mug that big. <laughs> The other day we had a morning, we were free, and we went to Sliema. We're taking a ferry to go to the city in front of La Valletta. It's beautiful. It's pretty nice out too. It is. Sliema is like a, another city, but it's right in front of Valletta by ferry. It takes like 10 minutes and it's really nice and close, more modern. So we did a few things during the week, but we didn't really explore Malta. Brian has been wanting to have a kebab for like forever. My first kebab. In Malta. Ever. You have to get to the meat. Dude. And? Good. But I don't want to eat this on camera. Give me some peace. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So today, you want to say hello? Hello. It's <laughs> a very sad hello. Why? Hello. So today, we decided to explore Valletta better. I divided the main things in Valletta in two days. So today we're gonna do this part and another day Maybe next week we're gonna do the second part. Also, I am the one in charge of Creating making plans for this vacation because mr. Miller doesn't like to do that. Yeah, show them your guilty face <laughs> And he uses the excuse like but Sonia you're better at these things. So I'll just do anything you want that's true. She's very good. See, he's like trying to give me a lot of compliments. Like, you're so good at it, so that I make plans. But, anyways, tomorrow we're going on a boat trip. So, today we're gonna stay here. And I'll tell you more about our situation here while we go to our destination. Today it's not too cold, but I have to say, last week, since in Italy it was like really, really cold, here it was pretty cold the temperature wasn't too low like eight degrees or nine but it was windy yeah and this is pretty much where we live we're going there brian what do you think about maltese english nothing special <laughs> he can't understand the maltese accent i don't know why but i noticed that even though English is like the official language here Usually when you walk down the streets and you listen to people They speak Maltese Most people just speak Maltese They don't go and speak English if it's not necessary That's what I've noticed so far But it's been a week so I might be wrong Watch your step Sonia's talking to the camera walking on all these <laughs> Be at your own risk Hmm, that's a nice house Oh, it's two parts That is not that small Bigger than our apartment in Japan Everything's bigger <laughs> Thank you. 
Babe, I don't want to film your death. You want to? I don't want to film your death, so don't jump. I don't think I would die from this height. You know, I notice Malta is the country of cliffs. Anywhere, there's somewhere where you could just like fall and die. I wonder how many people have died in Malta because of like this. Don't, don't kill anybody interesting one thing I'm loving about this trip but I know it's not good is the fact that it's just us not only is it February just low season not a lot of people but it's also during COVID, so there aren't tourists at all. When we went to Indina, we saw the mayor, the mayor of Indina, and he was like, oh wow, tourists, what a rare species. It's true. Do you like Malta more than Italy? Yeah. What? Yep. Sorry. You've been saying like, oh, this is so beautiful, this is so beautiful, this is amazing. You never say that about Italy anymore. Really? I'm kind of getting mad. Once we go back to Italy, I'll like Italy more again. I like wherever I am. It's called living in the moment. Yeah, right? I don't know if it's just me, but every time, every time I'm near a big body of water, like the sea or the ocean, I'm like, all right, I need a plan in case there's an, a tsunami. Look around, stairs, tall buildings, like, okay, if the tsunami comes, I have to go there. Am I the only one? Yes. Really? No, I don't. Really? I don't do that. You think it's weird? That's Sonia. <laughs> so now we're going to Casa Rocca Piccola. It's like a very ancient house in Valletta. And hopefully we'll have a guided tour. The weather's perfect, by the way. I'm in the I see the parking situation is the same as Rome. People on the sidewalk. And it also seems very difficult to drive here. More difficult than Rome. I wouldn't want to drive here. <laughs> Sorry. We did end up having a guided tour of the house. It was a 45 minute tour and we were the only tourists. So I was able to ask a lot of questions, but I don't know, it's a weird feeling. And then we had lunch. I had a vegan burger. It was an avocado burger. It was obviously good. I mean, who doesn't like burgers? But I have to be honest, it wasn't my favorite flavor. It was a little bit too sweet because of the caramelized onions. Tell them what just happened for the past 20 minutes. I explained some stuff to Sonia that she doesn't understand. Like what? No one even knows. It's not common knowledge. It's called options. So it's like finance? If any of Sonia's followers know what the wheel is, I'll personally give you a comment. I don't understand anything about these things. I just sat here for 20 minutes. For the first 10 minutes I was lost and I was like... Ah. And then he explained it again with easier numbers and names and I guess I understand a little bit better now. I'm not having dinner. Yeah, same. We were supposed to enter that church. They have very beautiful paintings, but I must have gotten the time wrong and it was closed. And here was Brian being mad at me because I didn't plan the day very well. I'm just kidding, that church is super close to our house, we'll go there another day. And then we moved on to these beautiful gardens, really close to our house again. And we just spent some time there being crazy. Hey cutie, hey cutie. Not cute. Very cute. Aww. This was our first Valletta day. As I said, I divided Valletta into two days. So next week we're probably gonna do the second day and see more. But now, even though it's early, we need to work a little bit. We need to shoot an episode of Italian Breeze. Let's go to work. See you in one hour. We just film Italian Breeze. I want to talk to you about, because I, I said it in the last video, the food situation. I told you I didn't like the grocery store here. 
I still don't like the grocery, the only grocery store in Valletta, but I found a nice fish store really close to our house. So I guess what we have to do is like, you know, like our grandparents, they used to go to the fruit store, fish store, the butcher, blah, 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 blah. That's what I've been doing, except for vegetables. I found, I located a few shops, but I've been using frozen vegetables because I bought some at the grocery store, but I'll start buying fresh fruit, fresh fish, maybe meat for Brian. I don't know because he's still only wants to eat wraps, piadinas, pasta. And I All don't right. need All right, I'm not forcing you, but again, I don't think it's healthy. Also, last time we were really, 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 really worried about the teaching situation, but do not worry. We don't have a lot of overlapping lessons. We really don't. We've had like four last week. And usually one can teach here, one can teach in the bedroom. There's like a curtain and we try to not to face each other. We try and keep the voice low like library voice library voice and that's it i think for tonight because we're a little tired i don't think we're gonna go out and i don't think we're gonna have dinner thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video you're seeing malta with us i hope that i can give you a few minutes 10 minutes 12 i don't know how long this video will be but a few minutes of happiness and like traveling with us and i hope that soon enough everybody will travel again thank you for watching guys and have a good evening or day. Bye.